what a warm welcome. Thank you so much. Um, I'm a senior athlete. I'm a reluctant senior athlete. I'm an old man running for my life. <laughs> um, <laughs> you see, Nancy Reagan said to say no to drugs and alcohol, and I did. And I also said no to exercise and restraint around carbohydrates and chocolate. And anyway, it wasn't working too bad until I got to be middle-aged and got a sit-down job, and I went from, well, stocky to holy crap in about a year. And I got pretty worried about that, so I started working out and went to the gym and running. Well, no, not running. Um, I've got the construction of an English bulldog, so I ride bikes, and <laughs> so then I, I got ambitious, and I said, I want to hulk out, and so I started lifting hard, and after about 40, um, you have to take breaks or else you get overtrained. I did not know that, and I got a pain right here. <laughs> and I ignored it because I'm a guy, and I kept working out. <laughs> and eventually it was going, ah, you know. <laughs> and I mentioned it at the VA, you know, right after I went, ah. And I said to the nurse, I I'm sure it's not my heart. And she got a very worried look on her face. And <laughs> what she heard was obese, smoking, middle-aged man in complete denial of his impending cardiac event. So, the VA doesn't normally move very fast, but that day, I was on a treadmill an hour later, and they had strapped me with wires, and they had beeping machines, and they told me to run. I said, I am! <laughs> and, uh, well, they looked at each other, and they looked at their charts, and they looked at me, and I shrugged and said, go home. It wasn't my heart. I was right. So the next day they called, and they said, your heart's fine. Told you. <laughs> and then they told me I had diabetes. And I said, no. <laughs> and I have a new doctor. Oh, no. <sighs> yeah, the new doctor was a bit of a uh, uh, honey badger with a stethoscope. Yeah, um, I came in and I was trying to brag about my workout regime and how I was in shape, in pretty good shape. And he said, is this the one that gave you a medical emergency? I said, no, I didn't. Have, you had the medical emergency. I was fine. <laughs> he said, well, is it the one that gave you diabetes? And I said, yeah, that's probably fair. So he gave me a list of d drugs to take, and uh, I said no. Nancy and I have some opinions about this. And um, <laughs> he told me I'd be non-compliant. I thought it was a compliment. <laughs> but he said it not like a compliment, so I was a little worried. I didn't know what it meant. Maybe, maybe a court martial. Maybe they beat me into compliance. I didn't know. And uh, he, he, he told me at that point that I would be taking Lipitor. And I said, you know, that about killed my boss. And he ignored that. And uh, he looked down on my chart and he said, you know, there's a colonoscopy coming. Uh, yeah, I said, would you like to say no on that day? And I said, um, no. <laughs> Fine, here's your pills, go. So I sadly went out to my bicycle. I was still trying to be in shape, you know. Pedaled home. Got most of the way there. I was kind of distracted with thoughts of, you know, noncompliance and consequences and a drug-free colonoscopy. <laughs> and I, <laughs> I failed to notice while I was in the intersection with the right-of-way that a car was blowing the light. And, uh, you know, things go through your mind at that point, like, 
surely he won't hit me. He's going to hit me. (laughs) I'm in a bad position. I might die. (laughs) And then I hit. It didn't hurt, surprisingly. It doesn't hurt at first. Uh, (laughs) Then I was flying, and I said, well, I died. (laughs) It didn't hurt, so that's a good thing. And then I realized I was spinning. I said, now spirits don't spin, so good news, I lived. But then (laughs) I was still gaining altitude. I said, Nancy, I'm sorry, I did not mean to get high. (laughs) Then I came crashing to the ground, and I discovered a truth that Buddha had stated. He said, life is pain. (laughs) Anyway, the... uh, crowd formed. They always form. I don't know where they come from, and they look at you and talk about you, but they don't ask you what's going on. (laughs) And then the ambulance comes, and they put me on a backboard, and they drag me, throw me into the the, uh, ambulance, and they get my consent first, and then that drug pusher in there said, would you like something intravenous for the pain? I thought about it. And uh, I decided, you know, I'm having a rare day. Screw Nancy, give me drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Dr. Parkinson declared, I'm not surprised to see.